Greetings from Suzhou, China. We're here for the first leg of the Curling World Cup. Curling World Cup, it's a four-leg series with stops in the USA and Sweden before the grand final in Beijing. But it all starts right here in Suzhou at the brand new Suzhou Olympic Sports Center. Some of the best men's, women's, and mixed doubles teams in the world are here in this glorious complex that is brand new. We're now inside the venue for today's action. Our feature match is in the mixed doubles event, and it's China taking on the USA. I'm Hans Kramlov, and I'm joined by Olympic champion Rona Howie. Ni hao, Rona. Good morning. It is a glorious day today. All the mixed doubles teams in action. A women's event game as well in the five seats here at the Soju Olympic Center. Let's meet the teams. Here's Team China. Yu Yajin and Wang Yangkun. And for United States, Sarah Anderson and Corey Dropkin. Here are the standings in the mixed double event. Canada and Sweden leading one pool, and Switzerland and the United States both have a win in pool two. The teams are playing double round robins. Here's how the points are earned in Curling World Cup. The winner of this week's event, first leg, gets 10 points. If you lose the final, you get five. Every round robin game that you win within the eight end regulation time gets you three. If you win a round robin game after a shootout, you get two. If you lose a shootout, you get one. If you lose in regulation, you get no points. And here are the five sheets in play. Athletes are getting ready. And here are the matches. On sheet A, Switzerland is taking on Korea. Sheet B, China versus the United States. Canada takes on Russia on sheet C. Norway versus Sweden on sheet B. And then a women's event on sheet E, Sweden is taking on Japan. We'll keep an eye on all the action for you, but our feature match is in mixed doubles. China versus Team USA. China has last rock advantage in the first end. Here are the rules of play. We'll play eight ends. No extra end games in the Curling World Cup. If there's a tie after eight, we'll have a single stone shootout. Modified free guard zone in mixed doubles curling. No takeouts until the fourth stone. Each team has one power play. And there are no timeouts at Curling World Cup. The teams can speak with their coaches curl, no. between ends. If I hear more, I don't think we'll do that. Yeah, we'll Mine were over curling here. Okay. You got it. Sarah Anderson from Team USA getting us underway. And Rona, we had a look at Team USA yesterday and had a very impressive win against Korea. Yeah, they did. Played very steadily in their first game. And uh, they'll be looking to capitalize on early mistakes here from China. Whoa, 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 whoa. But they need to put the pressure on. And okay. as they said yesterday after the That's game, good. that uh, they're liking the ice, they're liking the venue, they like the setup. It's great to be part of this big event. And uh, they're relishing playing in this. Four years, and here she is at the Curling World Cup in her home country. Fantastic. Great opportunity for this young team. Wow. Three's on top of the stone just delivered by Sarah Anderson. Pretty good shot. Just taps it back a fraction. You want to tap him a little bit or no? So the hammers are predetermined in this game, and uh, we just played the end. China have it for this one, and in the second round robin game, USA will get the hammer. There's Corey Dropkin. I think we're a little down. Five, six. If you're new to mixed doubles curling, it made its debut at the Pyeongchang Winter Olympics. Instead of throwing eight Let stones like in it. team curling and mixed doubles to curling, Top each four. team throws curl, five curl. stones. Two of curl. them are preset. Wait, hold up. One player throws the first and fifth stone. Kay. The other player can throw the second, third, and fourth stone. So Corey's just thrown stone number two for Team USA. Very nice shot. Yep, still leaves. China line short, but it's a great position there to be in top of it. 
我看挺滑了。差十三秒六四。也就我差四秒五九。差不多，那这样打一下。差不多，那这样打一下。差不多，那这样打一下。差不多，那这样打一下。差不多，那这样打一下。差不多，那这样打一下。差不多，那这样打一下。差不多，那这样打一下。差不多，那这样打一下。差
don't think I can hurt it. Yeah, keep it straight. Room. Room, 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 room. I think it's a little oh. bit wide, but Girl. Sarah Anderson saying it's got lots of room to curl. It needs to Girl. finish. Get to that button Come area. On. Drop your knee. Have to keep it moving. Yeah, she wasn't a bad weight. Right. Just that line again. Yeah, we needed to curl another rock with, and that was a pistol. But as it sits now, China has got their single point, and now the big question is, can they get two? Just on the replay, Corey dropped him. He knew he had to sweep it for weight. He didn't really want to, but he knew he had to. The slower the rock goes, the more it curls, and it needed to curl another half width of a rock to get into shot rock position. Didn't quite get there. It's not easy though for China to get the second shot here. Very, very difficult. But worth a try. Oh, it's just throwing it away. Yeah. Discretion being the better part of valor here for China. They didn't want to make things worse, so they'll happily take their single point, but only one. A good force for Team USA. China opens the scoring after one end of play. It's China one, Team USA no score. Okay. Tactical discussion. This is underway in the second end of this 8M game. Here at the Curling World Cup, it's the first leg of a four leg series. Brand new event on the curling calendar. The next stop for Curling World Cup is going to be in the USA, in Omaha, Nebraska. Tickets are already on sale if you're in the USA and want to have a look at the Curling World Cup. That'll be in December. And one of the innovations in Curling World Cup is that the member associations can nominate different representatives for every leg of Curling World Cup. And in the case of USA, there will be a different group of teams competing in the Omaha leg than are here in Suzhou. And Sarah Anderson delivers. Coming down. Yep. Street. Stay street. Go, Corey. Go, 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 go. Corey working this hard to try That's and good. get it far in. Good they seat. wanted to half check the red, so it's just a fraction short. Yeah. But it's very great. usable there. Yeah, great angle. Uh, in Omaha, the USA in the men's event is going to be represented by Olympic champion John Schuster. In the women's event, they'll be represented by Jamie Sinclair, who had an outstanding year last year for the Americans. And in the mixed doubles event, they'll be represented by Joe Polo and Tab Peterson. 
here in Suzhou. Cool. Team cool, USA cool, cool. is represented cool. ably by Sarah Anderson and Corey Dropkin in well, mixed doubles discipline. No, oh, very nice little tap there by Y. Okay. Right here. Okay. So the teams need to watch their time clocks. Mixed doubles, they've got two minutes 50 to play out an end. Throw the first four firm, ends. Firm up. Yeah, I like and then it. the second four ends, they get three minutes. That is one of the rules innovations specifically for Curling World Cup, which is end-based thinking time. So instead yep. of yep. thinking time to use yep. it for the entire game, yep. it's end by end. Yep. This stone is yep. a little bit go, tight. Trying to play the takeout Roll on the stone it. of the rings, but he wrecks the guard. Okay, fine. Opens it up. It's an acceptable alternative for the better than missing it clean. Yeah, absolutely. Open things up. They've got last stone. How much space is between that and the back one? Okay. Hoping to double off those two red stones, but by clearing that center guard, these stones in the house available for the next one. Wang Kyang Kun. This young Chinese team from China Chun in China. We're just looking to replace the guard that was there. What a problem for USA. Throwing single guards on this half is really tricky, though. There's so much late curl and movement. Getting line is really tough on a guard. Yeah, because it still leaves the red on the left hand side there. Hopkins going to have another go at trying to double yep. off the Chinese stones yep. in the rings. Yep. Anderson on the brush, dropped and reading the line. Hard. Looking for a double takeout, but it's going to overcurl slightly. Good. Good. Removes one Chinese stone. That's a pretty good shot. Yeah, now controls the top of that eight foot there, so they, both those Ooh, yellows are usable from curling. by USA. At least a few inches off. You must have like a few inches off the rock. Ronnie, you mentioned the communications. Corey feeding back to Sarah. How All much right, that no, stone curled? Well, he's just communicating those adjustments about what it's this piece of ice is doing or how it's moving here and there. It's key to have that communication, especially in mixed doubles. When the end goes fairly quickly, you don't have a lot of time. You know, so it's important when. Uh, You've played your shot that no, you do no, no. feed back. There's the U.S. coaching Good bench, good. Phil Drobnik and one of the bronze medalist well. Pete Benson. Yeah. And because the skip's not, and they've chosen anyway not to have the skip holding the brush. To aim at, then, you know, if, if they're picking somewhere to aim, it's on the, whether it's on the barrier at the back or whatever they choose, at least if they feed back to each other what the stone is doing <laughs> makes it more beneficial when the next pair throws. Yep, the amount of curl on that out turn fooled the Chinese team as well, over curled onto the center guard, but it's actually going to work out well for them. Pushes their own stone as we see Chinese coach Xu Chaoming. Very able international player in his own right now, moving into coaching. So a decision inch here for Team USA. Just an inch? Yeah. Maybe two. Yeah, they've got last stone, and I think if they could raise the red onto the yellow. Red, yellow, onto red. The red. Yep. Straight back, red, yellow, red. Because it only just needs to nick a piece of the red that's on the bottom. So a small gap between Whoa. it and the yellow Whoa. behind. Whoa. Yep. Yep. Yeah. So this one's smoke. really curling as well. Okay. This turn is really fooling both wow. teams. Corey Dropkin expected with the extra weight that that one would hold straight, but we've seen three or four down that path really move. Okay. And we can see the stone curling as it moves across that center line by the guard. Wanted to hit that one right on the nose, but clipped it on an angle. Leaving China line one. That's three hits that uh, Corey's played there in the same piece of ice. Yes. Three in a row, so 
Shouldn't be any surprises there. No. <laughs> Here we see the time remaining, the end timing. China down to 24 seconds on their shot clock for this end. Clock stops when the player gets across that T line. So no problem there for Yu Jiajin. Teams run out of time during an end. The non defending team has an option. They can take two points. Or they can elect to continue to throw their own stones with their time available and score as many points as they can. So yet again, this is for a bundle. chosen a tight line there, China, to come around and they just wanted to guard that I mean, this is maybe for one. center line. Maybe that. The guard just slightly over curled. Go ahead right here. Corey You're probably looking, looking, looking at the angle right and he says that was for a bundle. Yeah. They're thinking it's worth the gamble. They've got a higher percentage short tap to score one, but Sarah Anderson is going to try to hit about a half of that corner guard and try to run it into that redstone on an angle and maybe score as many as four. Yeah, it's only the second end. Definitely time to take that risk. Well, here we go, folks. This is going to be exciting. USA rolling the dice, looking for a big end. Oh, she must be close. There's the hit, there's the angle. Look at that fantastic shot by Sarah Anderson, and the USA scores four. 15-foot angle raise takeout, perfect. Great shot. Look at this, had to hit just about a third of the stone, runs it in and on the angle, the perfect angle. <laughs> Picks out the Chinese her. stone, saves her shooter in the back. Wow, what a great shot. Great judgment as well. They called it, they made it, and it was for a bundle. Four points on the board for Team USA. After two ends of play, USA four, China one. <laughs>
drop. Seven, eight, seven, eight. Okay, drop. Eight. Wait, it's nice. Eight, keep it straight, keep it straight, keep it straight. So trying to just sweep to one hold time. it up the hill. Because they know once that curl breaks that it's going to gonna go big. One good straight, Phil, straight. Whoa. Yeah, nice time. looking stone here from Dropkin. Ah, nice call. Shot. Good Great read. line call. Yeah, nice shot. Job. Thanks. What did you get on that? I got a 68. Okay. A 13.9. Okay. So constantly communicating what weight was thrown so they know down that path because it was dead T weight. Players in on the sweep trying to hold the line straight and come on, come on. carry the distance further, but they want to tap it straight back. They don't want it to over curl their own stone. Just slightly does, but that's not okay. bad. It's not a bad result. Okay. I mean, yes, they still lie short though. Shri. Come here. Where? Either that or guard. Exactly from those situations. I'm thinking Can you make top it worse four? by coming in the A wings? guard's not bad, is it? it? I mean, on the outturn side. Then they have the intern draw to the. Yeah, but can they bump us back to sit two? I don't think so. No, it's frozen. What you want a guard? In yeah, outturn. outturn. So, outturn. sorry, where are you putting this? Um, on the four foot line. Okay. So after a bit of discussion, they are going to elect a guard. Throw a stone blocking the path to the rings. Yeah, I like that call. There's three up in the game. We have China have to score here. We're there right now. Yeah, so if they can guard tight, this line, okay. the other Just a tight handle guard. coming in and the intern's not easy. That's true. Although there is Fighting a top crazy 12. Yeah, whoa, whoa, whoa. triple raise for the Chinese to possibly curl, yep, curl, curl, run curl, yellow, curl, red, red back and lie three. Yeah, but that's not bad. It's pretty good, actually. stone does come into the rings. Sorry, Sarah. It just wasn't as fresh as I thought it would be out there. Yeah, good result. No, I mean, that does the job, right? Let's take a look in at Norway versus Sweden. Lots of rocks in play. Norway up to nothing at this point in the game. Various <laughs> Vespin, <laughs> Sweden. We saw Therese make a fantastic shootout draw in a game yesterday. Throwing it almost right on the pin to seal the victory for Sweden. We see China just having cleared off the front guard. Try and give them a way in. USA has the yellow stone. It's in shot rock position nearest to the pin, but it is behind the D-line. Okay, same way. All right, here we go. Should be three, four. Three, four. If you're new to the sport, Room. it's important to Drop keep your stones yellow. in front of that yeah, T-line we're, because uh, we're close as long to as it's yellow. in front oh, of girl, the pin, girl, you can girl. always make the stone better. Girl, but once girl. it's past that T-line, Anytime you move it, it's going to get further Shoot. away from the target area. My goodness, Corey, come on. <laughs> Corey Adjusting. giving himself a serve. Sarah Anderson looks on. There's a cluster in there. The question for China is how do you get these stones in motion? Yeah, they need to try and move something here about. They're looking at the angles between that red and yellow to see where the red would go. Huang Kuan, 
Yu Shenzhen saying, hurry up. It's end base time and can't look at it too long. You run out of time in the end, and that's it. You have to stop throwing. Big weight. Oh! Hi! Oh! Oh, sorry. All good. Crashing. A little, lots of collisions, stones, people. Yeah. It changes it up a bit, but. It does. It certainly gives China some options with their last stone. We could just go like right here. They are lying second, third, I'm fourth. They have this spin thing yeah. here. Yeah, you're USA right. holding shot thing. rock right now. If, that stone is a bit lonely there in here, the button area. The Lots of right. red stones belonging double, to China surrounding it. The double, I think they would roll out here, and this one would go, so it'd be for two. You want to make this, or even that? Yeah, I just. I mean, if they make this, but is also, this going anywhere? Also, look okay, at let's. Sorry, we got drop yeah. Yeah. So if we do this, looking at the angles as well. Here, we give them a double, right? For three. Okay. What are you thinking then? I mean, we eat almost. And just peel this out. I like that call. Should I get down there? You want to just peel that the, out or you the want to guard? The yellow and red are pretty I think well frozen at the back of the forefoot. I think this one's uh, it's for three. The yellows, it's going to be very you difficult you like just peeling this yellow. out? Do you just guard the draw, maybe? USA down to 20 seconds. I'm OK with the guard. OK, let's guard. Plenty of time, 15 seconds. OK, just relaying each other. The time available, no need to panic. They have elected the guard. They're not going to take out the stone. They're going to defend the stones in the ring with a guard shot. Mine's pretty good. The reason for all the debate, Mine's Rana. good. Straight. Halfway high. Yeah, they're trying Straight. to work out uh, because high. China are yeah. lying second, third, and just fourth over, shot. Just they don't over, want to over. lose a big end. So uh, they're, they were looking at the options of what China had to get that okay. yellow stone out. That's fine. And really, they felt on those reds was the only way they could get you shot. You make an angle, you make an in-off, make things interesting. <laughs> to make the in-off? <laughs> <laughs> USA yes. did it in the last end, so exactly. China, well, you can do it, I'll do it too. Yeah. Sarah Anderson making an amazing 15-foot angle run in the first end for oh, They did talk about removing this stone out of play so it didn't give China anything. China. Decided to guard. Wow, yep. no, They're wow. deliberately trying to hit their own stone. Wow. Wow. This one, though, is tracking wide. It's going to catch it thin. <laughs> Just behind <laughs> it. <laughs> so, uh, USA uh, living dangerously, and they get away with it. After all that, it's a steal of a single point for Team USA. Giving the USA a 5 to 1 lead <laughs> after three. <laughs> Side. All right. Good end. Let's have another good one. Five shots here. Where are you aiming? A little outside of eight. Okay. Stones are in position for the. It's Fourth close. end of our radiant yeah, game as Sarah like Anderson of the <laughs> USA gets us underway. Looks light. Neither Mine's team good. have used their Four. power play Looks yet. Great. It's 
when the stones is close. positioned to the corner guard position. Four, four, five. Line's good. Keep it straight. Yep. Straight, 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 straight. Use the power straight. play when you've got last rock advantage. So Sorry, China Corey. has last okay. rock advantage here in the fourth. Not a bad spot. Down four, but I'm I'm making some I'm keeping that power play in the bank for the second half of the game, Rona. So no. Like that, or would you think about using it now? I think we might have seen China yeah. use it now. When we've got the hammer and they're four down. It would be a good time to try and score back. But they're obviously keeping it for the second half. So they really need to try and get the pressure onto USA here and come right in. And this outturn path really curl. And again. Okay. Chen Quinn, okay. stone over curls slightly, just feathers that center guard. <sighs> Let's go top button. Yeah. You got this. You got a 14-4 there on theirs. Corey dropped him. Just taking an extra moment. I think that's good. I think he's beating himself up a little bit. He's, he hasn't struggled a lot, but he's been a little bit tight on his out turns, and so he's just maybe taking that extra second just to well, just uh, calm down in yeah. the hat. Yeah, he did a big sweep with the last oh, stone well, of Sarah's as well. Straight. Straight. Uh, just composing himself. Straight. Hard straight. <laughs> Gotta go. Hard straight. 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 Hard. Sarah hard. Anderson reading the line, trying to get by that stone on the top of the 12, but they just clip it. Okay. It's usable. Nice job. Again, usable there. You can tap that up. <sighs> well, we've seen what Sarah Anderson can do with an angle run in, haven't we? We have. And China will be aware of that. <laughs> China really want to try and uh, open this up a wee bit to give themselves a chance at this end. They don't want to get sucked in again. Yeah, a two-point end here for China would get them to the halfway point of the game, two down, and stabilize the ship a little bit. Looking to play a takeout and get a little bit of an inside roll. There's the hit, there's the inside roll. Pretty nice shot. Well, they're yellow, they're red. Yeah, I like that better, you're right. Let's take a look in at Canada versus Russia. Canada is up 3-0. Final yeah, stone yeah, coming much. for no, Maria Komarova. Yeah, Neil Dorayachev on the brush watching it. Oh, not going anywhere near it. Sweep! <laughs> Sweep! 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 Don't clip it. Oh, my. Yes. One red is the call, yep. so it's a single point to the oh, Canadians, a steal. They're up 4 nothing. Oh, Walker and Kirk Myers. Back to our feature game. Oh, double takeout there from Corey Dropkin. Nice shot. That hit. Yeah, really nice Made double takeout there. Nice shot. He's happy with <laughs> that one. <laughs> Mocking himself that I made a hit. <laughs> One and two. Chinese stones <laughs> flying out of the rings. So the staggered stones there at the top of the house. It gives China now the chance to draw right round. And we've seen on this outturn side how much curl there is. No problem at all to hide behind cover. <laughs> No, no, they're changing gears now. Looks like, no, nope, they are going to stick with the outturn. Okay, we'll be switching to the intern side for a moment there. Whoa. It's interesting the difference. Both the Chinese come in to sweep the stone, whereas with USA, one always watches the line and one sweeps. And do you think the American approach is the better approach? Having somebody looking at the line all the time. There's no right and wrong. It's, I suppose what suits you as a pair the best. And I always think it, if it needs it for weight, then yes, you need two sweepers there. You know my first one? They've got to be there. But right. uh, 
I think on the whole, one watch Same in the line is always a good a thing. Because when you're so focused on sweeping, your head goes down and you just go. Whereas it's always good to have somebody saying, whoa, you know, line's fine, whoa. Yes, and we've seen in mixed doubles how important it is because you're so often playing those freezes and the Before angles the where you're leaving Five. the stones are so crucial. Five. Line is such a big part of that. Waste there. Back line's four. Good, line's good, Stay straight. Coming folks. down. Stay straight. Line's good. Corey dropped line's it on the brush. Room, room. Wow. Took that one way back. Sorry, Sarah. Yeah. I thought I was just going to dig. Slightly overcooked it, but that's pretty good. It's right on top of the Chinese hey. stone. Good line call. Shoot call. Yeah, and you hear they there him saying good line call. Course. You know, it well, that's really worked off. really well together. Because millimeters count, you know, in this game with stone, and you don't want to waste a stone I get it. Oh, true. by getting the line wrong. You'll get the ball. Oh, you'll get it's more effective sweeping is such a huge part of our sport. It's not just the power to sweep hard for distance, but it's knowing when to sweep, when to start, when to stop, how to anticipate the break. This stone sliding back to the cluster of stones behind the tee line, and now China's lying one. It's a pretty inviting pocket for Sarah Anderson is Yu Jachin. And you were mid-12, you said? Stays down here yeah. throwing in. Okay. Yeah. I think Sarah's going to look at throwing right on top of the pile, Rona. Yeah, just freeze on top of that red. Would be the perfect oh, shot. Added. Wait's good. Stay straight. Corey saying, wait's good. Straight. Slightly Let's tighter get. line than straight, 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 straight. China coming in, but Corey is holding Wait, nice. it right now. Sarah's Can he get it past? Yeah, she's worried about the line. Are they by that stone at the top of yep. the house? Just, just by great brushing by Dropkin. Come on, baby. Good shot. I nearly oh, drifted nice. in. Wow. <laughs> great brushing there from Corey Dropkin. Nice line read from Sarah Anderson. Good shot. Ooh. We're sweating out here. Just by the top one, so even though China can. Get to the shot rock. I don't think she can shot. throw it hard enough to move it. Might be I just think a if draw. she plays enough yeah, weight to yeah. tap it to get it's her to, yeah. then yeah. it'll go by. Would, uh, run straighter. There we see the brushing of Dropkin just getting it by that redstone in the front of the house. Nice shot. No. Team USA continuing on from their strong start yesterday. Maybe really putting the pressure on. Yajin, last stone on its way here in the fourth end of this eight end game. Needs to draw the button to score a single point. Waiting for it to curl. Will it curl enough? No, fractionally heavy, and it's another steal for the Americans after that great final stone from Sarah Anderson. Yu Jin can't draw the button. It's a steal of one for Team USA. So at the midway point of our 8-end game, it's the USA 6 and China 1. Good first half. Yeah, nice job. First end action. China's Yu Jin with her final stone. Electing to throw it away, thinking it could only make it worse. It's a single point for China. Good force for Team USA. China with a single point. Second end. USA rolling the dice. Sarah Anderson trying an angle run in takeout to score a bundle. That is spectacular. Woo! Angle nice running, and the USA scores four. <laughs> wow, fantastic. 
Third end, the USA line one at the back of the button. Chance here for Yu Xiaqin. Trying to run one in of her own, catches it thin, but it goes behind the American counter and it's a steal for Team USA. So let's catch you up with the matches here in this session. Switzerland is leading Korea by a score of eight to one. USA in our feature match leading China by a score of six to one. Canada with a four to one lead over Russia. Norway with a similar four to one lead over Sweden. And in the women's event, Sweden with a three to one lead over Japan. <laughs> We're at five, so I think try to force, force here, score in six, and then, you know, force a couple in seven. And for some reason, we were to give up a steal in six. Yeah. 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 Hey. Put rocks in good spots. Yeah, keep drawing well. Yeah. Hey. Set up and get the rock. Get our drink. Coming a little light, but Corey's sweeping the well, so. He's here to sweep. Yeah. It's my job. <laughs> sweep and sweat and sweep and sweat. Sweep and sweat, says Corey Dropkin. Team USA discussing their options at the halfway point, and let's take a look at the stats after four ends of play. Shooting percentage in favor of Team USA, two stolen points and up six to one on the scoreboard. USA with the clear statistical advantage in both shooting accuracy as well as on the scoreboard. The thing about mixed doubles curling, no lead is safe. Teams complete their chats with their coaches. A little bit of discussion there at the halfway point, Rona, about if and when to use the power play. Team USA saying, if we get the hammer, if we drop a steal, let's use the power play. If not, save it for the seventh or eighth. Yeah, it's always good to come off the break. Uh, Having had that chat with your coach, knowing exactly what you're going to do in the second half, have a game plan and know how you want to play it out. And they do have that one chance to have a power play. So at the moment, I think uh, it's China's call whether they want to. Go down there, you're throwing. They're coming up now, so I think we might see a power play here. Yep, they are. Point to the yeah. <laughs> which side? Yeah. This side? Can we get a time they can out choose for yeah. which side they go to. They are electing to use the power play. China now using their power play with last rock advantage. We can see the stones being positioned on the side in the corner guard position. Okay. Cross the face. You cross it? Yeah. Okay. So now we see the interesting tactical choice for Team USA is how do you defend against the power play? I'm doing uh, this hack. Yep, yeah. same thing you threw. Yep, so they can't remove that guard. But she wants to play across the face of it and tap hack. it into the house. Heavy hack. The guard stone is a Team USA stone. She's trying to push it into the rings, but remember she can't remove it from play. Uh -oh. Pushes it straight. No takeouts, remember, until the fourth delivered stone of the end. Uh, no, 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 no. Let's see the hack, the starting block. We call that a yeah, hack. Yeah, here, I'll see what Push off, or their slide. 
Can you catch him? For the biography, she lists her curling hero as Rachel Holman. Wow, and there she's at the same event as Rachel Holman is playing in, so that'll be exciting for her. Dream come true for a young curler. Went to the changing room. Okay, yeah. There's Rachel. Hi, Rachel. Rachel. <laughs> there's your hero right wow. in front of you. <laughs> and that's where this event's fantastic. You know, you've got the men's event, the women's event, and mixed doubles all playing together on the same sessions. And it's a really, really good event for bringing them all together. Yeah, Curling World Cup is a great format. Corey dropped in 67% for the first half. As you say, Rana, it's a real festival of curling we've got. All the top curling nations of the world here, top teams. Okay, so it's top 12. Oh, it's all right the disciplines the happening, no, no, no. all under one roof. That's Terrific. Fine. That yeah, stone comes to that's rest. Okay. To top one. of the house in the open, so yeah. chance yeah, here for China. So They've got the power play, and things setting up pretty well for them to potentially get a two or a three here, Rana. Yeah, they've got the one go. lying Point shot back. behind the corner guard. Yeah. USA just came up a wee bit short with that one, trying to draw around. Chance here for Wang Chung Kun to play a takeout shot now. Fourth delivered stone. He will have a little inside roll behind the guards. They're trying to hold the line straight. It's really pulling. And it wrecks on the front. And that's where when you're five down, do you want to be hitting? Yeah, at some point you have to, but a little early in the end, I'm with you, Rona. Accumulate stones. Okay. Need to get something built up. Even normal might do it. There we see Coach. I think we need like six inches of ice She's on the rock looking here. on. Might even need more than that. Okay. Because we can hit and roll out, right? Yeah. So a bit of a let off there for Team USA. They know what yep. the danger yep. rock is for them. Yep, 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 yep. They're going to make a play at the yep. shot rock. I thought yep. they might be just clearing the guard, but they actually pick off the shooter. Ooh. Nice yeah, shot from Corey Dropkin. That's all you. <laughs> Corey Dropkin crediting his teammates, and that's, that's all you. you. Good throw. By that, he means great sweeping, Sarah. You held the line straight. You got it by the guard. Nice huh? shot. It's one of the few stones that Zara has swept on her own. <laughs> That's true. She's been up jumping and uh, <laughs> sweeping most of them. Sarah can, in fact, sweep really well. Wang Chang Kung. China with last rock here in the fifth end, trailing by five. They need a multiple point end in the worst way. Well cleared Whoa. the corner guard. This should curl and finish Whoa. nicely. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, that's a very nice stone. A uh, lovely draw around. Let's look in at Norway versus Sweden. That. Norway with a four to one lead. Same thing. Yep. Robin Albert. Whoa. So there we see that Sweden has changed their playing Whoa. rotation. Yep. As they can do every Whoa. end if they want. Yep. Earlier yep. in the game, it was Whoa. Vestman throwing okay. the fifth stone. Now it's Robin Alberg throwing the final come stone in, for come Team in, Sweden. Trying a little tap. Pushes it up. Single point for Sweden. And that closes the gap. 4-2. Norway with the lead. Scandinavian battle over there on sheet B. So Corey playing the same neck out. Making it look pretty easy. I know, you could probably see about a third of that one though. <laughs> Massive target. Massive target. And China just have to persevere now and try and get something behind cover. Well, they got something to work with. They could even use that stone in the house as a guard if they wanted to. Go around it. So they've passed the guard by a wee bit more to try and keep this buried so it doesn't poke out the other side. And mm. that one is better. That's. Pretty well buried in there now. We need to. USA won't be I mean, able to you, see enough like to nick it out. It, go for it, but if you like the draw, I'm not against it. Make the draw good and yeah, uh, make a good one. 
I'll go look at the other, at the other end of the side. Okay. Yeah, much better placement, so much less straightforward decision for Team USA. Playing the scoreboard here a little bit as well, I think, Rona. They're probably thinking to themselves. I think you're just owning draw weight, but if you like the hit, I'm, I'm completely in. I mean, I have a piece of it. Yeah, only a piece. What's easier? What do you want? Okay, let's draw. It's okay. Up to Sarah. She decides button. on the yep. draw. It might be a hair yeah, slower than it was in your last draw. You get to the way. hack to see how much, much you can see of the stone yeah. before yeah. you decide whether that's the shot you want more. to play. But she's decided no, she can't see enough. She would rather draw. As Corey reminded her, as they were making her way down to the shooting end. So far in the game, Sarah's had okay. pretty good control of her draw weight. Mine's good. Wait, it's room. close. Tons of room right now. Okay. So Tons dropping of room. likes the weight. Now Sarah Anderson reading the line. He's a curl. Trying to hide it behind that curl. stone in the front ring. Here it comes. Curl. Curl. Just trying to pull it right in behind. That's a beauty. Oh, that Great is a beauty. <laughs> Easy Team shot. USA on fire here this morning. Great shot from Sarah Anderson. Nice brushing by Corey Dropkin. Great team shot. Corey oh. working it hard, really, to curl. pull it in at the end. They knew it was going to draw. Look how much this curls. curls. That's a beauty. <laughs> Terrific. Still a chance for China to score two here, but it's a more difficult shot. Double takeout. They could double off both of the American stones and still score their pair. Good end. Yeah. I don't mind if they get two at their power play. Yeah. You can hear Sarah Anderson say, yeah, they could still get two, but with their power play, that's not a horrible result. Team, you say. And here we see that Wei uh, Jiang Kun is actually going to hold the brush as a target. So now brushing on the ice for this take, take it attempt for Yu Shashin. Now she jumps up to sweep. That's pretty oh, athletic. Hard. Trying to hard. double. Hard. Hard. There's one just past it, just over curled. Korea. Little misread on the sweeping line there, and it's another steal for Team USA. Neutralizing the power play, USA. We here we see the replay. Had to hit that one a little thicker to make the double takeout. Just goes by the shot rock off the button, and it's another steal for Team USA. After five ends of play, USA 7, China 1. Anderson and Dropkin of Team USA. Just that little bit sharper here wrong. this morning, Rona. Team USA with a commanding 7-1 to one lead after 5. Yeah, the USA pair have played really, really well. Really dominated every end. In the Curling World Cup, this is the first leg of a four-leg international like series. Like yeah. Starting here in Suzhou. The second leg of the tournament. We'll be yeah, in the really USA like in Omaha in December. The third leg. Yep, 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 yep. Jönköping in Sweden in late January before the, the grand final, which will be held in Beijing in May. And what's at stake here for all of the teams and the men's and the women's and the mixed doubles event? The winner of this first leg qualifies directly in to that May Grand Final. Oh, 
Curling World Cup is a brand new event on the curling calendar. Some innovative, different playing rules being used in this tournament. Okay, okay. Even though it's only day two, it's already proving to be pretty exciting. Here we have a look at the rules of play and being used. Eight ends of play. No extra end games here at Curling World Cup. Single stone shootouts to break ties. No deliver, no takeouts until the fourth delivered stone. Each team has a power play and no timeouts in Curling World Cup. But the teams are allowed to talk to their coaches between ends. End based timing as well. I would say probably that's the biggest change um, for teams to manage time and they're used to managing it over a longer period. Whereas when it's end by end, they can't bank it. There's no point in banking time after one end. So right to there. it runs out straight, straight, once that straight, end's finished. Straight, hard, straight, yeah, straight. I have to say, as you say, it's an adjustment for the players because it is a relatively uh, new innovation. But for me, it keeps the game moving. And it does, uh, I, doubt. I like it a lot. And it also means with the five rock rule coming into play now, there's going to be more stones in play. So there is longer to think and decide and work out angles, and but they've got to keep keep time moving, and uh, they can't afford to lose that end just because they run out of time. We were with us yesterday. The mixed doubles action we saw. Team Korea run out of time. On one of their ends. And they hadn't even realized they were close to running out of time. They were so engrossed in building up this big end and ready to play their last stone. Seen a great shot there. Yeah, that's a beauty. China with the last rock here in the six, trailing by six. Next doubles curling when you're throwing five stones. And you add one for the place stationary stone, the maximum score in an end is six. I haven't seen any sixes here this week, but I certainly have in mixed doubles tournaments. Mine's good. Mine's good. Four. Four, five. Stay straight. Straight. Wait's nice. Curl. So this one really going to pull big at the end. That's a nice stone. It actually overlaps. A really nice angle. A lot of curl itself. Yeah. It'll do the work here. Oh, Corey, a wee bit out of breath there. So having to work <laughs> hard today. I don't mind. I don't mind. I'm here to sleep. Mind, honestly. <laughs> well, you heard him at the fourth end break. He said, uh, that's my job. I'm that's here to job. sweep and sweat. <laughs> sweep and sweat. Yeah. Oh boy, oh boy. If you're looking for a augmentation to your fitness program, take up mixed doubles curling. It is a test of fitness for sure. <laughs> Some of the people that say that curling doesn't require athletic ability, come out and give mixed doubles a try. Come on. 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 Come Accumulate stones and try to play some kind of a raise or a running weight shot on the last one to score a big end. He's on a much tighter line. This one really moving on that outturn side and again clipping that center guard. Just struggling today a wee bit with the line. It's catching them out how much it's drawing the, from really the hog line into the house. Yeah, we've seen this path really throughout the game, really curling on both takeouts and on draw shots. Corey Dropkin. And his out turn. One. Do you need help? Nope. Okay. Stay straight, <laughs> stay straight, stay straight. Over and up, over and up. Sarah Anderson Come offering on. help with the sweeping. Corey says, nope, got it. Over and up, says Sarah. So get it over well, the hog line. Has to cross that black hog line to be in play. It does. Over curled it. But Just curled a bit too much for their liking. Shoot. They're trying to block the path through that hole. I think it really makes. 
The hole is there, the but it's uh, on that big ah, swing, so it's quite a tight well. hole, yeah. but it is there. Question for China, how do you navigate through that port? And do some damage on those stones in around the button. It's very difficult for them to even get, even if they do come through the port, to actually lie second shot. They have to move that American stone at the front of the forefoot circle to do that, and as Wang delivers. The kind of shot you kind of have to throw there cold, isn't it, Rona? You have to throw the perfect weight and the perfect line and just let the rock do its thing, but they're really working this one. They're through the gap, I think. Is it going to curly now? Oh, just <laughs> rubs it. <laughs> they just graze that outside guard. They swept uh, it early just to keep it up there. <laughs> it up. Let's take a look live at Switzerland versus look Korea. Jenny Perea and Martin Rios, Olympic silver medalists with a 10 to 1 lead. This young team from Korea. Chang really Hyri, final this. stone. Oh. One red it is, so single point for Switzerland. And Rios and Pere are rolling along. And you have to call them one of the pre-tournament favorites, and they're showing why. I mean, they're not really in a good position, so... Two this way. They don't, yeah. So. I don't see how they scored two the other way either. I'm going to come the intern. So and discussion I'm here curl between Anderson and Dropkin. Where are you aiming? China's line uh, one. The USA Italy. wouldn't mind yes. that at all. There we see that is the end of the game between Switzerland and Korea. So chalk up another oh, victory speed. for nope. Team Switzerland in the mixed doubles event. <laughs> one, one final score. Well, it looks fine. Back to our feature game. Okay USA right now, perfectly happy it. to give China a single point, no problem. They're saying, yep. how do they get two? One. Yep. Yeah, they Curl hard. China's hard. had last stones and say third end and uh, yep. keep it going. Go, 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 games go, where the go, hammer's go, go, a curse. Yep, yep, you just yes. can't get rid of it. <laughs> <laughs> Another nice stone there Good from shot. Sarah Anderson. It. Uh, it's a great guard, it's blocked the way Perfect in now. And really Without a helicopter, I don't know how China are going to get in to score two. No, red on to yellow doesn't do you any good. Red tap angle run in. May not curl enough past the guard just thrown by Anderson to make that shot. Not too many other good options. Can't really bank it off the sideboards. That's not legal. <laughs> Second shot. Come on, see you. Really tough. She has to virtually bite the button. So she has to draw past that red there at the top of the forefoot. Pass all the guards first, then pass that red. And the stone still has to curl half a stone to get second shot. Yes. So really, without that helicopter, I do. Top four, or even full eight on the side. Yeah, either one. Corey Dropkin, Sarah Anderson discussing their tactics. We're talking about probably like a 
Halfway kickoff. The USA have elected to use their power play. I think that's in the house. Lona, we heard the teams talk about this at the midway break with their coaches, Team USA, what situation they would use the power play in with a solid lead. The decision for Team USA was to save the power play to actually use it almost as a defensive tactic. Yeah, absolutely. The, uh, the, left side you know, the, the scoreboard, there are enough left shots up side, that uh, Aim, if the center's hit. open, if they have to draw for one to bail yeah, out the end, or if they lose a one, they've got enough of a cushion. So absolutely, it's a good time to play it, but for a different reason than you might want to use it. You know, see Sarah Anderson's dominant advantage in the shooting percentage where, department where? in this game. She's had a very good Looks game. Looks T-line, I don't want the, I don't want the fudge. I would have thought as well, China there would have been up a guard rather than trying to come into the one All in right, the house. All right, not fudging. Okay. Well, but one of the differences in mixed doubles curling oh, is, there it is. as opposed to <laughs> team curling. <laughs> team curling, the free guard zone, if the stone's in the rings, you can remove it and hit it from play. In mixed doubles curling, you can't do that. You can't remove a stone until the fourth delivered stone. So maybe their thought was throwing a stone in the house, knowing that the USA can't take it out, and maybe throw it in first and guard it second, perhaps. Regardless, once again, the stones are accumulating. But the USA using the power play, and there we see the comparison between Corey Dropkin and Wang Chiang Kun. Corey Dropkin with a slight statis statistical edge. Wang Chiang Kun has been pretty solid as well. In the second half of the game, we've got uh, three minutes per end. Thinking time. Yeah, uh, well, lots of thinking required when you're down five. <laughs> you got to figure something out quick. Five, 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 five. the American stone in the back ring. That was it. Cuddles yeah. up beside it. Is that how we'd say it in Scotland, Rona? There's a print right is that there. Cuddled or is that kind of checked? Checked, I would okay. say. No, in Scotland we don't cuddle with parents. Do no? no? Don't cuddle one in there? No. Okay. Check or freeze. Like Check or freeze. Yep. Right ale. Corey Dropkin. Slides gracefully from the hack to deliver this stone. Whoa. Now in the phase Whoa. of the end where takeout shots are Whoa. absolutely permitted. Hopkin picks out the Chinese stone. Nice shot. Yep, USA don't need to do anything clever. Just keep things simple. Keep it clean. Get rid of any Chinese stones. Are we shot or no? Fine. No, you're right, Rona. USA knows that even a score of a single point here is fantastic from their perspective. They don't need multiple points. Yeah, even if they lost a one at this hit, you yeah. know, if China did manage to steal one, it wouldn't be a disaster for USA going into the last end. Yeah, four up, four up with four up coming home. We talked about the skip stream yesterday. That's a pretty good skip stream. Four up coming home. Game doesn't seem destined for a shootout, but we have seen in earlier games here at Curling World Cup. Okay, the same. eighth end final yeah. end situation does factor into the thinking of the teams because here more. at Curling World Cup, if you win the game in the regulation eight ends, you actually get an extra point in Curling World Cup rankings. You get three points for a win if you win it in eight. If you go to an extra tie break shootout, Whoa. even if you win the game, you get two Whoa. points. And those ranking Whoa. points determine actually who advances Whoa. to the Sunday final. So yeah. teams are adjusting their thinking to the think about. The whole mindset of how you play those last few ends of the game are really, you can see it changing here. Yeah. <coughs> because as you say, they, they don't want to be penalized by winning it in a shootout. Yeah. They want to get the three points by winning the game in yeah. the regulation eight ends. Exactly. <laughs> 
in addition to control the game and control the hammer to the final end and a win's a win, but here a win in regulation is a little bit better than a win. No, no, a little bit of an error there. There's no timeout available. You can't bring the coach on the ice. You can talk, but you, you can't come on the ice. You can't stop the clock. No, I wondered if they were calling a technical timeout. It was a problem with the stone, but no. They can't have their coach down. Okay. Bit of discussion there at the time clocks. So after a bit of confusion, <laughs> now they're counting stones. Is it number four or number five? Number four. Okay. Yeah, they're looking at the clock. They're looking at the coach. Mm, there, uh, what's going on what's here? Happening? Looking at us. <laughs> Yeah, uh, they obviously just uh, had forgotten for a wee moment there that they weren't allowed a timeout with their coach. Exactly right. Curling World Cup rules, no timeouts. Come on. Come on. Come on. Use your gym. Get it in. Want to lie to you. <laughs> Big brush. Oh. Just short of second shot. Yeah, pretty good. Yeah. So nothing clever. USA just need to remove. What turn do you you throw an out turn? I think I still want to throw slide. firm. Out turn there. Yeah, out turn. Yeah, I like firm. And we see another game come to conclusion. Canada with a nine to one win over Russia. So Kirk Myers and Laura Walker continuing their strong start to the mixed doubles tournament here at Curling World Cup Suzhou. Back to the feature game. Corey Dropkin throwing. Yep. Whoa, whoa. Firm weight takeout, trying to whoa. remove the Chinese stone. Whoa. This one, though, tracking a little whoa. bit full. Is he by the whoa. corner guard? Okay. Squeaks it. Oh. Dicey. Yeah. <laughs> no danger there. No danger to take like that hand. <laughs> <laughs> well, they talked about what turn they wanted Lana. to throw at that. And Corey definitely wanted to throw the out turn. That brought that guard into play with that shot choice. Got away with it. Xu Shijin having a peek at the clock. Uh, ideally, they would want to lie too after this. But uh, even if you could draw around their top, one that's top 12, use it as a guard and come around right into the forefoot. Force USA to go for a double takeout. Be the shot choice, trying to draw around their own stone. But they're going to have to sweep this really hard to get it into the forefoot. Big effort. Can they hide it? That's pretty good. Ah, oh, great shot. That's a beauty. Seven eighths buried. Saw earlier in the game that China. On their right power play, had a chance to score two uh, with a double takeout. And whatever you like. Time clock, Team USA with Outer in. plenty of time available to complete their final shot yep, at the what end. Do you like? uh, let's throw in. In? Okay. And now Sarah Anderson had a chance to throw a double takeout to score two points, and that would clinch the victory. The whoa, double. Whoa. It's close. Yeah, it's close. Yeah. One, nice two, time. double takeout, that Sarah Anderson. Well, Beauty. that's a fitting cap on a fantastic game for Team USA. Two points on the board, double takeout by Sarah Anderson, and they shake hands as the USA has mathematically eliminated Team China with that score of two points. Wow, what a comprehensive victory and a great performance by both players, but Sarah Anderson in particular, a blinder, the USA bench there. Coaches Drobnik and Fenson happy. Final score, USA 9 and China 2. Yes. Uh, 9. In a game of fantastic shots, a double takeout to clinch the victory, Sarah Anderson. making 
circus shot after circus shot in this game. And that one seals the deal for Team USA. So three games concluded here. Still a bit of action remaining here at the Suzhou Olympic Sports Center. The Curling World Cup. Norway with a huge four point end there in the sixth, and they're holding an eight to three lead over Sweden. Norway were the bronze medalists at the Pyeongchang Winter Olympics and mixed doubles. Half of that team is competing here in Suzhou. Kristen Skaslian. Olympic bronze medalist at this tournament. Her teammate is Sandu Rodak. And here is Kristen Skaslian lining it up. Looking to cover their stone in the back of the four foot, eight foot circle. Probably wanted that one to be another foot deeper. Mm. Norway in a pretty good situation here as Robin Albert makes his way down to the delivery end. Swedish team, a team with a real future in mixed doubles. Won the Swedish mixed doubles championship. Harry Spessman holding the target line for Lars Alberg. Final stone on its way here in the seventh. Looks like a single point. Yep, confirmation there. Single point for Sweden. Draws them a little bit closer, but Norway holding an eight to four lead now. After seven ends of play. en skjutning på sista garden som som, som eh, är för alltså att det ska ligga så pass bra för att ta fyra. Vi bara gröta till. Nu kan du köra. 65. Ja, lite lättare. Robin Albert. Bra far, lite hård. Eight and final end. Ja, 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 kör. Svårt ett land. Men. Ja, 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 ja. Sweden trailing by four. They're going to need as many stones in play as they possibly can get. Hård! And that's the most first stone there from Hallberg. Jag tror jag gick i den här. Right behind the guard. Nej. 
toma las chances. Norway with... Huh? Are you good? Solid control of this one, though. Last rock here in the eighth and up four. Is it hack, do you think? A little bit of a tempo in the spore. Let Sander say hack wait. Kristen's going to try to push the Swedish stone if she can. Bare hack! Gjennom! Back line! That center guard pushes it off the center line. That's a very nice shot by Skaslin. Looks doubles equivalent to the tick shot. Pushing the guard off the center line, opening it up. Nice dome. Therese Vestman. Nick score. Yeah, good work, 50. Good line. Yeah, hold it. Team's coach at this event. Bra linje, bra linje, bara fart. Bra fart. Mother. Bara fart. Say I brought mom to the Gjena curling Kala. as my coach. Well, her mom is a two-time Olympic champion. Jättebra linje. Japp, japp. Wow. Hold it. Hides it behind the guard that was repositioned. Vad bra, eller? Vad bra, pil, Okej. Fourth delivered stone, which means Norway can hit. We heard Sander Rolvag say heal. That means he's going to throw really hard. Rolvag up in case it needs sweeping, but not laying a brush to it. Picks it clean, rolls away. Nice shot by Rolvag. <laughs> Antingen här eller här, mailar den här. Det, aha, jag gillade den, men okej. Okay. So countdown is on, as Therese Vestman is in the hack, looking at the situation. Den, alltså jag menar han kommer hur som helst bara kunna klippa kornen och sen ta den. Ja, ja, ta den andra. Eller, nej, Sweden needs four to force a shootout. Ja, no, we know that. Håller jag en gång nu? Ja. Clearing guards as quickly as they can. Du får försöka frysa den istället, Robin, när du kan över. Ja, måste gå för det. Va? Måste gå. Ja. Ja, ja, ja. Alberg working it hard to try and drag it as close as he can to the rings. They'd love a little bite, and they get it. Big sweep. <laughs> hard work, but it is open and available for Sander Olvag, and potentially a chance here to make a double takeout remove both of the Swedish rocks and... If he could do that, that would clinch the win. Norway four up. So, Sanders all back end it yeah. right here. Yes, nope, not this time. Well, well uh, maybe made a double the hard way. <laughs> it moves off the rings, and so it wasn't really plan A, but he did push that stone off the rings, and it does clinch a victory. A little bit of relief there from Sander, but the net result, it's a win for Norway. A little wry smile there from Coach Thomas Lovell saying that's the ugliest double take out I've ever seen, but got the job done. And that Norberg, disappointment there, but big smiles for Team Norway. Clinching an 8-4 victory.
One game remaining. It's a women's event game on sheet E. Sweden holding a 5-2 lead over Japan. This one, an Olympic rematch. Both of these teams competed in the Pyeongchang Winter Olympic Games. It feels easier to do exactly what I did, but a little bit more. Yes, exactly. And I think we have it in the fart. Both of them came away with medals. A little bit more. There. I had the first. Sarah McManus holding the target for Sweden's Anna Hasselborg. Lots of Swedish stones clustered in there. Are they angled in such a way that Satsuki Fujisawa can pound these and perhaps spring for a pair, do you think, Rona? Certainly, giving them a bigger target. I think uh, Anna Hasselberg there had intended to be slightly shorter. You see the angles. Chinami Yoshida. I don't know if it would jam over onto the yellow, though. Exactly. It would have to spring across the top of the yellow if the Japanese were to score two. Have to make contact right where Yoshida's holding the brush. Here it comes. Whoa. Satsuki Fujisawa of Japan. Silence. Yeah, never a good thing. <laughs> never a good sign. Close. Nice. Whoa! Nice. Great it. shot. <laughs> Triple takeout. Satsuki Fujisawa. Bang! It's a deuce. Wow. And if Anna Hasselberg hadn't played that last stone, then Japan wouldn't have had that option. Look at this. Didn't lay a brush to it. Silence all the way down, but thunder at the other end. It's a two for Japan. Great shot. Oh, big smile. <laughs> <laughs> Great stone. After six. One game remaining here at the Curling World Cup, Suzhou, and that's in the women's event. Olympic rematch, Sweden versus Japan, and after that triple takeout by Fujisawa, Japan right back in this one. Hans Fraunlob here with you, joined by Olympic champion Rona Howie, and Rona, you were mentioning to me during the break that you know, if Anna doesn't even throw her last stone, there's just nothing there. Yeah, unfortunately, uh, <laughs> It was just overplayed. She could have stopped short anywhere in that line and really caused Japan a problem. But by placing it where she did, it just gave them a shot to play. But Rally they've got to look at it. You know, there's two ends to play. They're one up with the hammer. Just back to that mindset. They want to win the game in the eight end. So ideally, Sweden would like to take their two here. And be three up playing the last. So from Roberts, lead player for Sweden. Bra, Fia. Bra. Bra, Kolaga. Okay. Okay. Enrico 
Yoshida. Yeah. Okay. Hey, Yoshida. Are you? Calling at the age of five. Just. Berry, stay. Yeah. Yeah. So things setting up pretty well early in the end here for Sweden. Let's see if Lombers can throw another one around that corner. There's the five vote rule. So if Japan want to put the pressure on Sweden here, they could be putting up some cover. Getting into that game situation where if you're trailing, you are starting to think this is where the shootout starts to come into play, in the thinking. Now you're thinking, of, oh boy, you know, get to the next round without the hammer, that wouldn't be so good. Now you're thinking about, well, I get to a shootout, take my chances, start playing for a tie. Suzuki. Love you. Just hold it, Dana. Yeah, hold it, yeah. Hold it. No waste of motion at all. Dana, wait. 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 Agnes Nockenhauer lining it up in the hack end. And a Hasselborger skip, giving her target line with the brush. Yeah, decided it's time to open it up and remove the guard. Nicely done. Kills the corner guard. This Japanese team from the northern Japanese island of Hokkaido was talking with their coach, J.D. Lind, earlier in the week. The team was safe and sound after the recent earthquake that affected the island of Hokkaido, but said it did affect their training. There was a massive power outage. And that power outage, of course, affected the curling arena they were training in, which caused the ice to go off. And Thank so goodness for them, they're all safe. Nockenhauer, yep. lining it up. These are the current Olympic champions. Focused. Okay. Mm -hmm. Rattles them around. That certainly changes the angles. Russell, what? Yeah, it wasn't the angle that she was hoping to catch that at. Yellow stones belong to Japan. And they're lying one. Chinami Yoshida. Fujisawa. Yep. Yep. Running forward. Looked like she wanted to join the sweep. Yeah, yep, 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 yep. Shida and Suzuki, no problem there on the brushing. They're safely across the hog line. Now it's a question of the line. Okay, okay, yeah. Nice sweep. Fujisawa with the characteristic pink gloves. Pink gloves and the scarf. That's kind of her signature. That's exactly right, Ron. 
It's gone darker pink this year. It was paler <laughs> pink before. So, uh, Sarah oh. McManus. Shake this back, Ryan. Shake it back. Well, Sarah. She's quite happy to peel the guard off, open things up. Very nicely played. So a little dilemma here for Sweden. You're thinking, okay, normally in this situation, you'd be pretty happy to score a single point. You didn't, wouldn't love it. But two up playing eight, you'd normally be pretty happy, but in this situation, you really want to be three up playing eight. You do, because with the... You know that, change to the few guards on rule, it would be easier for Japan to score a two in the last end, so Sweden wouldn't want to go to a shootout, they want to win the game in eight. Exactly right. Teams are playing a double round robin, they'll play each other twice in the pool phase, and the way that rank the teams to determine who goes to the final on Sunday is World Cup ranking points, so... You get an extra point yeah. when you win the game in regulation. Gives you three points for the victory, and that's what Sweden is looking for. That's what both teams are looking for. Yep, yep. Hot. The next leg, Hot. or not the next leg, yes, the third leg of Curling World Cup yes. will be in Sweden. Yes. Go, 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 go. Just oh. clipping that guard. No. And it's one of these ones if you don't pass peel the guard, but it didn't actually take it out of play. Right. It just moved a fraction. So do you up and catch more go, of the guard go, to go, remove go. it? But they obviously thought they could just get past. Feathering that guard, leaving it there, covering the outturn path. Huh? Discussion there among the players. Just about the weight in the line. Nice chance now for Japan to Force Sweden to take a single point, maybe even steal. Satsuka Fujisawa. Four minutes and 15 seconds to play the each end in the second half of the game. Need to keep their eye on the clock. Timeouts at Curling World Cup. Things cannot stop the clock. Absolutely. Nice and half forward, lining it up. Yellow onto red. Onto yellow. Looking at the double raise takeout. Oh, so I saw fall, man. Ah, yeah. Alltså den bara personligen så känns de lättare. Ja. Men där har du. Lite till. Lite där om chappen bara. Så var i träppen nu då. Så tala en centi. Ja. Ja. A long tradition. Jag det, jag tror jag, men... A fine tradition ja. of top class. Swedish women's curling team continues with Team Anna Hasselborg. They came onto the scene suddenly and immediately left right to the top of the heap in terms of quality. Yep. Big shot here. Angle raise takeout. Look at that. Great shot, Anna Hasselborg. Yeah. Fantastic result. <laughs> Made it look easy, I can yeah. tell you it wasn't. Let's take another look. <laughs> she had to catch the top yellow onto the red, onto the yellow, at all the right angles. It wasn't an easy straight back. Exactly what they were looking for. Fantastic. Nothing to it, Susanna. It's what I do. That's my job. That's why I'm here. <laughs> so now Sweden lies too. What a turnaround. Mm. Would you saw make a triple takeout in the last end? Is she looking at double raise herself? 
It's going to be very difficult to remove both yeah, those reds. So Absolutely, she would really have to hammer the top uh, one just on the fraction on the outside. Chanami and Shiva lining it up. Just now sneaking a peek at the time clock. She'd rather have come inside out than outside in. That makes the angle a little bit better. But she's right, there's really no way to play an out turn at this. It's not an easy shot. She can't see that whole stone. Just with guard. No sweeping. Needs it to curl. Well by the guard. Catches it thin, blows it across the top. So after that terrific double raise by Anna Hasselborg, Fujisawa can't make the raise back herself. And now it's a draw for three. Sarah McManus holding the brush. That's the target line for Anna Hasselborg. Just needs full eight foot to score three. Getting the stranglehold in this game. Red stones belong to Sweden. Det känns som att ni har ganska mycket på sopen i det här spåret. Vi kan se the hammer, hammer symbol behind Anna. Det är inte som att ni har det här spåret. Det är inte som att ni har det här spåret. Det är inte som att ni har det här spåret. Det är inte som att ni har det här spåret. Det är inte som att ni har det här spåret. Det är inte som att ni har det här spåret. Det är inte som att ni har det här spåret. Det är inte som att ni har det här spåret. Det är inte som att ni har det här spåret. Det är inte som att ni har det här spåret. Roberts and Nakamura are among the strongest sweepers in the women's game. Just over curls, it's only going to be a pair. Two points for Sweden, opportunity lost. It's a big opportunity missed. So Japan staying alive, but Sweden now with an edge. They're up 7-4 to four after 7. Sorry. I'm sorry. Sofia Marburg sliding in the distance, now in our close-up. Swedish lead gets it underway. In the eighth end, Hans Frama, Olympic champion Rona Howie. Rona William, an uncharacteristic mental error on the final stone there from Anna Hasselborg. Fairly routine draw for three, but we just didn't take enough ice. And gives Japan a chance, it's the five rock rule. Japan can throw two corner guards here, and three points is not out of the question. All of a sudden, you're in a shootout. No, absolutely not. It's uh, a character, an uncharacteristic mistake from Anna Hasselberg. She played such a great shot with her first, yeah. and these bread and butter shots to draw an open house. You know, they must make shots. But anyway, they have the advantage. They've got the lead. They can control this end. Three up is not a bad place to be. But here is corner guard number one for Japan. Yoshida, nice shot. Roberts. Rally it. Trick it, T. Okay, be careful, T. Just rally it. Trick it, four, T. 
Unlike mixed doubles curling, men's and women's curling, the free guard zone is the area between the scoring rings and the hog line indicating in play. So if the stones are in the rings, they can be hit. But if they're short of the rings, they can be repositioned, but they can't be removed from play. And now in the five rock free guard zone, that crucial one extra stone for the team with last ball. Put into that guard area. And this one needs to be short of the rings. <laughs> Safely stops. Please stop. Please stop. <laughs> there are the two guards for Japan. And this is where the five rock free guard zone comes into play. And there's the rules of play. Five rock free guard zone ends of play. Japan scores three, we don't go to an extra end, we go to a one rock okay. sudden death shootout. So Japan have got it set up and five rock free guard zone means that Anna Hasselborg can't clear guards right now. Has to make another choice. Yeah. Agnes Nockenhofer. So for me, Ron, a really interesting shot decision. You're always going to pick up your two corner guards, so uh, that's what they do with the next one. Go, go, go. Your opponent's going to have stones in the ring. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. But it's also as well for Sweden here. You know, they can dominate the end. They've got control. They went first. So it's so important that they're leading second. Put those first two stones of theirs in the right place. In the rings, but in front of the team. Which they've done. They have. That one, the last stone there, would probably be shorter than Sweden would like to play. Because it could act as a guard later on, but... It's fine because their other two stones are so close. So Japan really yeah, have to try and get the hit and roll yeah, here yeah. behind one of their corner guards. Yeah. Yumi Suzuki looks on. Just looking to nudge him, move him around a little bit. Gets the roll behind the corner guard. That's a very nice yeah. shot by Suzuki. Yeah, great result. And that's one of the three points that Japan yeah. is looking for, so potentially. And the Hasselbord showing the angle between the I two stones. Free guard zone part of the end is over, so it's now blast away time for Agnes Nockenhauer. Looking to rip the corner guard and maybe kill the Japanese stone in behind it as well. And that's where yep. the Japanese corner guard was probably too far, too close to the house. This makes whoa. this an easier double yep. takeout now. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Rather yep. than just peeling a guard. Oh, great shot. Fantastic shot. That's the game Sweden loves to play. Yeah. Yeah. You can throw that big takeout weight with accuracy. Oh, you did look Rachel Holmes, Canadian team, another team with that kind of weaponry in their arsenal. So one corner guard gone now for Japan. Yumi Suzuki. Behind this corner guard. Trying to force an error out of Sweden. Remember, Japan need three to tie. And now Hasselborg immediately playing the percentages. Absolute right play. Get rid of the corner guard. Sarah McManus. Quite what they were looking for. They get rid of the guard, but they leave a center guard. They do open up the Japanese okay, shot, so that's a bit of a positive. Victor, okay, oh, yeah, yeah, Japan, something to work with. Any guards 
a good guard for Japan at this point. Someone knows. I gotta get three here somehow. So with score three, we're getting to the final rocks of the end. Fujisawa knows I have to move these redstones at some point. Yep. Nami Yoshida. Yep. It's even just a case of tapping back and. Yep. Moving stones about yeah. ahead of it to try and create chances. Yeah. Yeah. Got to get it by that front stone first. They're by. They do push that yeah. red stone behind the tee line. They leave it sitting front eight. Not a bad shot. Shinami Yoshida with yeah. a smile. She's happy. She really always seems happy. I know. That was definitely a, a genuine happy. <laughs> the the Olympic Games this year are certainly... Oh, this is a concert for their nya. smiles and laughter. This might be the happiest team in curling. Yeah. 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 Side roll, <laughs> they're nice Hallet shot from McManus. Great shot. Hey, bro. He's not out of the woods yet, though. Great Discussing the weight for the shot. Oh, I'll not throw it. Yeah, from a Japan point of view, they ideally wouldn't want to be hitting here. When they're trying to build up a three, whoa, they'd whoa, rather whoa. be drawing around something. Three. Whoa, whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. They are not laying a brush to it. We need to get that one off the forefoot as well. Yeah. Yeah, would have liked a little bit further inside than they got, but they do set their own stone in front of the sweeter stone. Makes it a little tough. Move it without jamming. Come, come, foot. Come here and have a chat. Yeah. What do you think? Looking for team input on this decision. Remember, no timeouts. They can't stop the clock. But. Bring it just a little slow, man. What do you want to do? Nothing special. Trick here. It brings for better anything, eller? But it becomes harder for them. I also win for garden here, Sara. Yeah. Det var, men hon, om jag skulle missa den och skicka ner den, då blir det äckligt. Det är kind of en intressant yeah. situation i en kronisk World Cup rule terms. Käkli, ja. Sweden did run out of time. Det, Japan ja. kan fortsätta att trå. Vi gadda den eller klippa den. Ja, men vi kan in på den, va? Jag tror att det är lättare. Jag vill inte klippa klirin. Vi lyder den. Samma fart som Sara. Säg, Sara. Vad var den? Här ser vi tiden som är kvar. 109 för Team Sweden. Yeah. Jag kan inte dock att toucha den gula ifall jag träffar för tunt. They can play all the remaining stones, or they can take two. Jag tror inte att du kommer att träffa så tunt, inte med nej, inte med nej. Nej, okej. Vi har lite mindre än nej. Vi väntar den med den här vägen. Ja. And the hassle was lining up. She knows she can't Nine. take the double on the yellows, but if they can just hit the top one and the inside and roll over a fraction. Yep, yep. There's the hit, there's the inside roll. Pops into Halle. the front of the bra. eight foot. Bra, yeah, Halle, nice bra. Bra, bra. Keep the shooter, keep the pressure on Japan now. Two to come for Japan, and they need yeah. them both to score. So Fujisawa's going to have hit something here. Doubling the reds and rolling to the left of our picture. Inside, 
And then have to rely on a miss from Sweden. You're going to need a miss here regardless. See the 45 meters of ice that are standing between Sitsuki Fujisawa and the target area. Så länge jag får ut en, men jag kommer aldrig kunna få ut den. Så antingen ligga två. Manus and Hasselborg looking at the angles as well. Hon ska inte stå på den, eller? Standing by. They're already discussing Anna's next shot. Because they know the time's tight. They don't want to run out of time. It's on its way. Get it by the guard. Oh, they feather it. Oh, bad luck. Crashes the guard, spills through the rings, and that will run Japan out of rock. So it's victory for Anna Hasselborg. Satsuki Fujisawa just rubbing the guard with her final shot. That runs Japan out of rocks, and it's victory for Anna Hasselborg and her Olympic champions from Sweden. Exciting finish here at the Curling World Cup in Suzhou. Sweden 7 and Japan 4. Our, our catch it up on our feature match in mixed doubles, the USA versus China. China versus the USA in the fourth end. No. The USA stone and chop block position at the back of the button means Yu Jiajin has to draw the button to score a single point. Just a fraction heavy, maybe she was thinking tap, but it's a steal for Team USA. Just a fraction wide. And in number five, China using their power play in a double takeout attempt for Jiajin. Last stone. Kills one, but just by the American stone, it's yet another steal for Team USA. Uh, and number seven, final stone for Sarah Anderson of Team USA. Double takeout. Kills the Chinese shots, scoring two, clinching the victory for Team USA. High fives for Dropkin and Anderson, and a great performance for them. And rounding out our session four matches in mixed doubles, Switzerland 11 to one winners over Korea, United States 9-2 winners over China, Canada 9-1 to one over Russia, Norway with an 8-4 victory over Sweden, and in the women's competition, Sweden were 7-4 winners over Japan here in Suzhou. So here are the mixed double standings in both pools. Canada, 2-0 with three-point victories, giving them six points leading that pool. Switzerland and the United States in the other pool, both on 2-0, both with three-point victories. They are level at the top of the second pool. Congratulations, Sarah and Corey. A very dominant performance. Now, Sarah, talk me through that shot at the second end angle race for four well uh, we had two options either the draw for, or tap for one or the angle and uh, i think that's more fun shot so i decided to go for it and what were your thoughts before you played it uh, nothing really lose i mean if we missed it we gave them one so uh risk worst reward really and uh corey she was a star today she sure was she made a lot of fantastic shots she saved our butts in the second end and uh yeah, it was good to have her playing, playing great out there. Yeah, but mixed doubles, w what we've seen, the great communication between you, how important is that to have that communication? Uh, you know, there's just two of us out there, so, you know, being able to communicate well and 
um, kind of get the tracks down and, and you know pick up on the ice when it changes. It's it's uh, vitally important and um, just kind of having you know good talk between the two of us. It's you know it's huge. Well, congratulations, great performance. So that'll do it here from Suzhou. On behalf of our entire production team and my colleague Rona Howie, so long from Suzhou.